what is meant by polymorphism in C++? How many types of polymorphism are there and how can be they implemented with the help of a program? Hello everyone, I'm Sukanya from GoEduHub Technologies and in this video we are going to discuss about polymorphism in C++. The word polymorphism means one name, many forms. It means there can be more than one function with same name in the program as long as it follows polymorphism rules. Real life example of polymorphism is a person has only one name but can perform different tasks and show different characteristic in different situation. In object oriented programming polymorphism is classified into two types that is compile time polymorphism and runtime polymorphism. To implement compile time polymorphism we have two methods that is method overriding and operator overloading. To implement the runtime polymorphism we have virtual functions. Now compile time polymorphism is achieved through function overloading and operator overriding. Function overloading when there are more than one function with same name but different number of arguments in a class or a program then it is called function overloading. That means the function will have same name but different number of type of argument will be there. A function can be overloaded by changing number and types of argument in the argument list. For example, if you look this example over here, then here is a function having only one return type and one argument here. And similarly, there is another function with the same name is having two other types of argument that is in text and in y. These all are returning the values of the function. Similarly, function with the other name is having a, another variable, but the, way, uh, the data type is different that is double. So there are various type of arguments in that same name of the function. So this is how basically the function overloading is done in compile time polymorphism. Next we have studied about compile time polymorphism is method overloading. Here we have seen that how a function can be overloaded. So function is overloaded with passing other types of argument. And then it will return the value for double argument function and for one argument and for two argument. The operator overloading is an example of compile time polymorphism in object oriented programming. So operator must be over overloaded. That means that an operator can perform task at time like adding two integers and performing concatenation of string. Now how can that be done? Here you can see that there are operators in this data type int a and int b. Now what they are doing? They are just getting their values and then displaying that particular data. Similarly, define, uh, defining an operator function to overload check operator plus check c. So that means it is adding the particular two values and then displaying those particular two values. So here the operator is being overloaded. The runtime polymorphism is having function overriding. Function overriding occurs when derived class has definition or for one of the member functions of base class. The function or the base function is said to be overridden. For example, declaration of virtual function. Here we have declared with the help of virtual keyword, virtual void displays a function and it is displaying base class. Similarly, the class of child class and the public is base class. So now it is displaying and with the help of the pointers, we have passing the reference or the address of that particular variable. So it will display you the values with respect to that. Now we have studied about function overriding, we have studied about operator overloading and we have also studied about function overloading. Now I am going to run the programs one by one to more clear you about the execution of how a function is being overloaded or operator or how virtual functions actually work in C++. So here you can see that this is the program of function overloading when there are more than one function with the same name but different number or types of argument are there. Here you can see the function name is same f u n c and the argument type in the one is only one that is in text and there are two that is in text and int y. So when I run this program it will display me the values of what has been stored in double argument function, one argument function and two argument function. So let us run this program and check that how it returns the value. So here you can see that the double argument function is having x values 1.2 and similarly the one argument is having only one value that is 10 and two argument is having x is equals to 20 and y is equals to 30. 
Now here you can see that that this is an example of function overriding which means function overriding occurs when a derived class has a definition for one of the member functions of the base class and the base class is said to be overridden. So here the base class is overridden of the main function and we use the virtual keyword for displaying the virtual function. So as I run this program it will display me firstly the child class and then the base class as that particular operator or the function has been overrided so when i execute this program it will show me child class and then the base class so what does it means it has overridden the particular function of the base function and then the members function of the class so in this video we have gone through function overriding operator overloading and operator overriding which are the types of runtime and compile time polymorphism and we have discussed about how polymorphism actually works in c plus plus for more programs and theoretical portions we will look into upcoming videos thank you